Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will explain how to use array in Scala. So, first create a singleton object in which we will define our main function. So in order to create a array, uh, what you have to do, you have to first uh, specify the type of that variable. Like when we want to declare a variable of int, so what we need to do, we need to write a statement like where variable name colon data type. So similarly, uh, in order to create array, we can use where the name of the array. So let's say my array, and then you have to specify data type now the data type uh, the data type for this variable is array so how to specify a array data type so you can use like array and here you can specify what type of data you want to store in that array so let's say we are going for integer type of array then we will use new array int and here the number of elements so this statement will Create a variable my array of array integer type of array, and this side will allocate a space for five element. So now let's assign some value. Just make it short. Here we will assign value. So uh, in Scala, instead of bracket, braces are used for indexing. So let's say on first element we want to store in arrays 12 then we want to store 13 then we want to store 14 now we want to print this array so you can use do while you can use while you can use 4 so let's say we are going for 4 we will use generator so range we want make it 1 so range we want we want to generate a range for 0 to 2 so here Initially, we will assign value 0 and then we will want to iterate over 0 to 2 range. And here we will print my array i. We will compile our program. And once the compilation is done, next we will run it. So if you can see, uh, we have printed all the elements of this array. Uh, there is one more way to iterate over this array, and uh, that is the short way. You can just need to use a, the need to write a variable name, and then you need to use generator and name of array. So uh, it will automatically iterate over this array, and every element will be stored in this variable one by one and here what we need to do we need to use this variable temp save it we will compile our program and we will run it so you have seen uh, you can use while you can use do while and you can use for loop so it's up to you uh, if you are comfortable with while you can go for while if you are comfortable with this approach you can go for this one so if you want to create a array of a string so what you need to do you need to change the type from int to string if you want to go for float you can write here float if you want to go for double you can write here double so in next tutorial i will explain how to create a two dimensional array two dimensional or multi dimensional Arrange scale. Thank you very much for watching.